name is Christian Lee, and I am part of your work. And we're here with, would you guys like to introduce yourself? We're Honey. Honey. Hey. <laughs> and for people who may be watching the first time, or they just love you guys, do you guys want to like introduce yourself specifically to you? I'm uh, Kevin. I play bass and sing. Jake, I play guitar. I'm Jason, I sing and I play guitar. Joey, and I play drums. How are you guys doing today? Doing oh, great. Not yeah. bad. First day, too. First tour. day. Excited. You know? always, that's always a fun one for the first day. Yeah. All right. And I want to start with this first question. And so what so far has been like, say, the highlight and low light of the day? Today? Yeah. Mm. I had a pretty good pumpkin cold foam cold brew from Starbucks earlier. That's a high point. Um, I don't really have a low point yet. We'll see where the night takes us. I had some good kombucha from the farmer's market right here earlier. I think low point for me is Kevin forgetting our CDs at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, Kevin? I was going to say the same thing. Okay. There you have it. Just uh, no low yet, but uh, we had some watermelon juice and tacos in the corner. That was pretty, pretty good. Food and beverage very, based. Very high. Food and beverage food. based. Yeah. yeah, it's very good. I really enjoyed it. Speaking about food and beverages too, and I don't know about today since you know it's pretty hectic, but like usually when you guys you know come to venues or like you know for promoters, like what do you guys ask and put on like your hospitality? We just changed it up a little bit. We did. We don't get we don't get chips anymore. We used to get chips. We're done with those. We're done with beer. We're trying to stay slim. We got hard yeah. we have hard <laughs> seltzers on the ride. Hard right now. seltzers. Got some bananas and apples. Fruits and vegetables. We're trying to we're trying to stay healthy. Alive. I know it's hard on tour. Yes. Yeah. We've succumbed to it before. Gotta get those tortilla chips out of here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's talk about your latest record too. It's, you know, yes, 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 yes. And one song that stood out to me was Saturday Night. And that's one of my first songs. Actually, like, yesterday I just had it on repeat. It's so good. It's so catchy. Thank you. Thank you. But I want to know, though, like, what made you decide to get, you know, the singers from Bleach and put her on the show? We're just close. I don't know. Really, yeah, Jen's just our bro. Um, I don't know. I don't know what led to us even wanting somebody else on it, but... Because I think she's the only feature too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I uh, the only one we've ever done, too. Yeah, I think it's mostly like we wanted a female voice on that song, and she's like our homie. We love the way her voice sounds. Yeah. And she just like fit that part perfect, and was like super keen. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> was super keen on doing it, so, yeah. We got a little extra lighting for this Jake here. Yeah. That's pretty sick. <laughs> All right. That's a movie on too, so you know, you guys are gonna go on tour for a while. And are there like any any places that you're excited to play at again? Always San Diego. We got two nights here. It's yeah, gonna be really fun. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, love the observatory, so it's gonna be a good time. Vegas will be fun. Vegas, Vegas will be, will fun. be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. This whole tour we're hitting like places that are generally speaking like close to home or that like we have been to quite a number of times. So I think all these shows are gonna be like super fun. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah we won't be too out of our element really anywhere, so that's nice. And I know after these two days, you guys are going to go up and play Ventura. Yeah. So Jake, you grab those CDs right now, too. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah, those need to get grabbed. Yep. Along with Kevin also forgot his bass at home before that's we true. left today. Yeah. He brought the wrong bass. He brought, uh, brought the wrong bass. I had a case, yeah. and then, yeah, it was just the wrong one in there. I opened it, and I was like, oh, I messed <laughs> so. up. Especially yeah, so good, good. Yeah, yeah we we haven't played Ventura since we were like first starting. Yeah, yeah. who was that with? When I was a kid. It was before you were in the. Video. It was when it, like we played some we played some bar the tavern wow. the tavern oh, and yeah. Kevin wasn't old enough to 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 like he had to Kevin. they made him wait outside until until we played. Yeah, there's some venues that do that. Yeah. You had to wait outside till we played and then you and then we played and then you had to leave again. Oh wow, I forget. Yeah. Yes. So that was like yes. three years ago or something mm -hmm. like that. Damn. Yep. But I've never played the Ventura Theater, so that'll be cool. We're all from Ventura County, too, so that's like really close to home. Classic yeah. spot. Well, you're not technically slam that stage. Yeah. yeah, slam the stage. Right. And last question before I move on to another segment. So what's like the significance of the number 412? Oh, man, that's just <laughs> a number that once you see it, it's like the number 23. It'll follow you everywhere. Yeah, it's like, just... 
that just that started popping up in our day-to-day -day lives and now it's inescapable it's almost overwhelming but, it's yeah it's it's blessing. everywhere you decide. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. all right you know what? let's move on to a lighter you know more funner segment okay and so this one is to uh, you this... know like how well do you guys know each other okay and so i'm gonna ask questions about each one of you guys and you guys figure out do we just try and like buzzer so, in? So, like, so it's like a, you're, you're like it's gonna be like a, bl a blanket statement about one of us. And okay. All right. Do I mean, the rest of us. Eventually, it's to gonna decide. be a process of elimination. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, okay, yeah. for sure, okay. for sure. All right. And so first one. And so this person used to be in a band called The Braces. It's Joe. Joe. It's, it's Joe. Yeah, it's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it's still going. I don't yeah. know what happened. But Joe might still be. Oh, you still, you never still got kicked out. Huh? Yeah, no, never that just happened. Got, they're not still, doing it. Still, yeah, yeah. yeah. On hiatus. Still yeah. Zach, Zach on hiatus. Doing videos right now. So, yeah, you know. So Shout out to Zach Secular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Zach, miss you. Uh, easy, easy, <laughs> easy one. All right. And so I want to talk about that a little bit too. Was that when you were still in Honey, or was that so when you were like part of the dance or like part of the band? It was in between the two because out of the ashes of Buffalo. So like it was like kind of like right in between that and so we're working with Zach. I know, Joe, you got to speak up for I'm him. sorry, yeah. The only, the only, the only, the only time loud. in his life that he's ever been quiet is answering the... Well, you know, it was... I'm saying so close to Sam Sanderson, man. But yeah, no, it was it was in between two things, and uh, I'm technically still in it, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I guess you're, uh, you're a ghost member. And for getting that right, I have a gift for you. <laughs> and let's see if this person is near and dear to your heart. Oh, something else it is... Right on. Gwen Stefani. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> yes! Nice. I do love Gwen Stefani. Holy shit, yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's got all the hits on it. That's pretty bad. The video for cool like changed my world. I was like, what is going on? I've never seen your brown hair in my life. It changed everything. Well, I'm going to ask you another question, too. And so, you know, you know, you've been drumming for a long time. I know you're very into drumming, too. I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and I know one of your idols is the drummer from The Killers. Oh yeah. And so what makes him like one of your idols? Though? Why him? He's just badass. He's got swagger and power. Like, and he's just like a fun, nice guy. And I met him before and he's like a real dude. And I like that. He's like wildly successful and he's still a real guy. And he gets awesome. And I know you're a very shy person. That's why I asked you first. But I also have a, a special just for you though. And so right now you have the Gwen Spine record, but you can trade it in for a killer record. Oh. Uh. I, I, you know what? I have killer records. I do not have Gwen Spawn records. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I love Gwen. I missed you. <laughs> All that, girl. <laughs> yeah. On the back. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. And so let's ask the next one. And so, so this person went under this game. It was blank seven. Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Kevin seven. 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 So Kevin my, seven. Kind that of was my MySpace name. name. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you were old enough to have a MySpace. <laughs> yeah. I had like pictures of me surfing on there. Wow. Yeah. That kind of shit. <laughs> I thought I was before your time. I thought you were strictly in Facebook. Probably had it before us. Oh yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Kevin's like that. But why Kevin Seven though? It rhymes, man. What is true with that one? I had a friend named Seven Decker Kevin. Six. <laughs> ah. There you go. So then. <laughs> you say to beat him by one. I beat him by one. Yeah. <laughs> that was the bit. It's really good. Oh man. So for getting that right, we have a gift for you too. Oh yeah. I thought it was later. Than and so, you know, ten years ago, how old were you? Fifteen. Yeah. And so I thought I would bring a blast from your middle school past. Wow. And it is my cam. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, this is a sick one. This, this is, is awesome. It's a classic. I, I definitely saw I saw my cam in fifth grade at the forum. And then I saw him at the Palladium when I was in. What was it? What was their new album? With the what? After the, this? Yeah. Black Parade? No, 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 no. The Danger Days? Danger Days. Yeah. I saw him at the Palladium. Oh, yeah. I kill Joyce. Make some noise. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So what, what drew you to Mike Em, though? Um, I think my sister, That was she was a big emo head and, and big Mike Em head. So kind of was gifted albums and grew up on So sick. This is a sick one. That's a very cool one. Wow. You're welcome. Respect. Thank you. All right. And let's move on. And so we have another person. And let's start off with this question. So I heard, I don't know if this is true, let's see if it's verified, 
This person was banned at a venue called the Cobalt Cafe. It wouldn't have been me. It's fully J. Were you banned? I was never banned. I, that was like my second home. I was never banned. It's right. it's it's been shut down though. It has been shut We've down. We've been banned from. So I mean, banned. so everyone <laughs> technically close. has been banned from being there <laughs> because it doesn't exist banned. anymore. It's now like a they sell like kitchen sinks. Really? Yeah, yeah it's like a kitchen Were remodel you, store. Would you ever have been put on hiatus for I some Kingsford stuff? No way. I mean, well, what? I, I mean, I, it's it was possible. It's possible that that would have happened, but what it, it never happened. Seen you? It Oh, in Fusion Cafe, yeah, I broke Yeah, Fusion is definitely, yeah, you were like on someone's shoulder. Maybe I got, I think they're miles from the It had a low ceiling, I, I may have just jumped and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like your Cobalt Cafe shout out though. Yeah, shout out. Yeah. That was a very important venue to, uh, not to only to not only me, but I, I, I feel us yeah, all. Yeah, all of us. Very yeah. important stomping ground. 100%. Played easily 50 shows there. Never banned though, but I like that. I played there with the braces. It's a good rep to have. Joey played there with the braces. Shows were at the Cobalt Cafe, three of them total. There you go, full yeah. freaking circle. And I have another question for you to ask me. Because I was curious about this when I heard about it. So is it true that you used to like, do like bum caps or <laughs> I had popcorn. I, 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 sure, I had popcorn. I had popcorn ceiling in my in my room, uh, like back in the day in like high school, and like you just so everybody would come over to my house, and like we'd all hang out in my room and like drink beers in the 40s and forties and, and shit like that. And when you finish one, you just go. Like you hold the cap in your thumb and you just jump up and you press it into the popcorn ceiling. And I had like, when I moved, I had to take them all down, obviously. <laughs> and I filled up like a whole, like giant box that weighed like 200 fucking pounds. It was like, I had like uh, like 800 bottle caps or something like that. Yeah. If I had popcorn ceiling in my new apartment, maybe I'd, I'd go for it again. But also the ceiling teacher. <laughs> And for all your hard work for the bottle caps, so I do have a gift for you. Wow. So it did pay off in the long run. And so it is. There you go. Oh, that's cool. That's way cool. Nirvana, live and loud. Dude, what's on here? Dude, sick. Young Dave. Damn. Dude, this is sick. That's way cool. Dude, and the reason I gave you this code is because I heard when you, you know, used this in your Walkman, that was like one of like the few tapes you actually had. It was. It was. I have. I oh, still have. Nirvana. I still have. Um, I still have it. The cassette tape that was my brother's from 19 fucking 92, probably is when he got it. I don't know. Um, I still have the t the cassette tapes all beat up. But yeah, when I had my cassette player, I had like that and like Dark Side of the Moon. That was like my dad's. And like that's yeah. Dude, so sick. Thank you. This is a good one, dude. Someone in the band used to work at Jump Deuce. No, no, no. Me. That was me that too. Was that was you too? Yep. And before there was the other the other Jake worked at Jump and Juice. Okay. Yeah. Jake Monk. Yeah. That may have been mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I do love Jump and Juice. You, you just got you just got me with both of them. I yeah. I also worked at Jump and Juice for a long time. You did, yeah. Like six years you altogether. Wear the visor? I wore the visor, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Upside down. Okay, but let me see if I can get this one right at least. Okay. And so I heard that you made AP Club with, I think, San Fran Disco. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's heavy. That's like one of the first things Luke and I ever did. It's, I don't even know. It was Child, the first EP. Oh, it's called Child's San Fran Disco. Yeah, it was, was just, just a two piece. That was a different one. <laughs> That's That was our metal cover band. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's great. Wow. Yeah. Do you have any Eternal Nug? Yeah. Eternal Nug never took we off. We have a lot of cover bands that still need to take off. Child's was a legitimate band, though. That was a two piece with myself and Mr. Jacob Monk. Uh, who worked yeah. at Jamba Juice. Who worked at Jamba Juice. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's, that is the EP name. <laughs> that's a, I mean, that's a good one. I'm down with that. That's a, that's a deep cut. That's, that's a, a deep cut. Yeah. And last but not least. Yeah, somewhere. Now you do. And so I heard this is one of your favorite artists. And so here you go. Oh, baby! That's absolutely correct. 
Thank you so much. You're I don't have this one. Thank God. This is very sick. Dude, holographic covers. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Crazy. Can you see this? Well, I know we're starting to lose light here. We yeah, can you? Hour, are you seeing it? That's basketball now. He shifts, yeah. That's the coolest thing ever. I saw what drew you to Prince though. What, what drew like me to Prince? Prince? He's the coolest motherfucker on the planet. He's just like, like Joey said, he's swagger. He's everything, you know? He's got power. He's got power. <laughs> he's got power. He's, yeah. He you just seems like the song. coolest. Anyone that is that, like, technically proficient as a musician and also, like, entertaining as a person, if you can, like, I just heard if you can do an impression of someone, then that means that they, like, have a certain stature, you know right. what I'm saying? That's that dude, you know? That's that dude. For sure. you, you got into Prince pretty early, too. Way early. It's my mom's favorite. Yeah, Goldie was listening to Prince when he was, like, two. Yep. Dancing around. Yep. Dance around his diapers. Purple vinyl. This is sick. Thank That's you very much. Welcome. Yeah. Right. And so we talked a little about, you know, cover bands, impressions, everything. Yeah. And so let's end it on this question. Like, if you guys were to do a cover tonight song, what would it be? Do we have to already know it? Because we have covered stuff before that that is fun. We have stuff in our arsenal that, I, I mean, if we more. tried to play any of them tonight, it'd be a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not asking you guys to play it tonight. Yeah. It's a song you right. guys like. <laughs> what would we play now, dude? Um, previously, like before, we've covered like we covered just like heaven. We've covered the cars. We've covered like YMCA. We covered Love Full. We do a pretty good we white YMCA. wedding. We do a good one. White, white, white wedding was good. Really good one yeah, too, yeah, I would do that tonight for sure. White wedding. White yeah, <laughs> that's a fire track. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm going with white wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Totally. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time to the interview, guys. Thank you so we much. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you so and much. Last but not least, so anything left to say to your fans? Uh, thanks for coming to the gigs. Keep coming to the gigs. Keep listening to the music, and we'll see you soon. See you there. I agree.